Oh. Hello. Greetings and salutations. This is Evelina Mane, Lady of the Room. And I am back. Okay. To make another point on one of Mr. Epsion's videos. I watched this video not too long ago and I enjoy it because it brings up a point about. Christianity and this whole, you know, end of the world thing. We've had this whole end of the world thing since God, not, not as God, uh, since the world even began. It's just that I've always looked at maybe, I, I have totally changed my perspective of what the end of the world has become. Since 1999, I mean, think about it. We probably had it, I, I don't know when we had the first end of the world, but I like to comment and in all one of Mr. Epsion's videos, I think he mentioned something about in one of his videos saying that God is dead, dead, dead song, that uh, no, I think Mr. Thomas said this, that he was running around and saying, like, God is dead, God is dead. And I think he made a very interesting point. That, yeah, God is dead. As in, what we used to know, what we used to think, how we used to view the world, is now gone. What used to rule over us is now over. You know, I kind of think... Maybe that's the point of these end of the world things. I mean, I know that's not exactly what you meant in your video. You're just talking about this person. I think this is a totally different concept, but I get his point that he's just saying that the end of the world has become kind of a thing or a commodity for not just Christian people to take advantage of, but just anyone to take advantage of, you know. I always view the end of the world, or I, like I said, now, now I do, as what it was. Like I said, was, we're supposed to take it as the end of something, the end of childish behavior, the end of thinking a certain way, behaving a certain way. That that thing that used to protect us, keep us safe, is no longer necessary or needed. And I do find that interesting. Because I think the last time we had the end of the world was back in 1999. And you know, I have to admit, it's kind of depressing that it didn't happen. It's not saying, oh, I wanted it to happen, or yes, I would be happy if the planet blew up. No, but if you're going to rally a bunch of people around the whole, oh, it's the end of the world, it's the end of the world, it's the end of the world, oh my god, we got to hunker down or something. Could you actually give us something, anything, besides our computers being incapable of turning over? One of my biggest pet peeves is that was pretty much supposed to be the end of the world. I take it now as, no, it was just the end of how we used to look at things. It was the end of how we saw gay people as being these weird, bizarre people that we didn't know anything about besides, oh, their inclination towards women, or towards men, or if they're men or whatever. Now, we see them as full of people. They're married, or have married, or been married, and now their relationship or marriage is now going to be treated as an equal thing, as same sex. I mean, I guess opposite sex marriage. Yeah, I like that. Opposite sex marriage. It's basically, yeah, you're dating opposite sex. Go away ye. But, to be honest,
I don't understand people who would ever keep anyone from doing that in the first place. Not my base, my business. Also, we had another end of the world, which was 2012. That one again. Let's let's put it this way: if you're an apocalyptic person, I suggest you just go pick up a book and read into the world from someone else's freaking perspective because you're not getting an end of the world. Okay? Unless you're just going to mature and realize, well, maybe the real world is not going to end the way I expected it. I mean, hell, I wanted it to end so everyone, so I would go, okay, we got everything. You know, as the world ends, or. See, the thing is, there's that too. There's that paranoia that I get tired of as well. Is that, yeah, if the world actually does end. Do you really think it's going to end the same way that we all think it will? You know, do you really think these other cultures really know? Not because I think they're stupid or anything. No, it's just that I think man didn't really think into the future. Like, he didn't see other things. Pretty much 2012 was, to them, the end of the world. Hell, we've seen tons of people who've seen, like, a utopian future. Okay. Yeah, which, again, two problems I have with a utopian future. Well, yeah, first of all, it looks really, really nice, everything's good. Yeah, you, know, you see a positive side, but back of my mind, if I, yeah, and this is the second point. Is you know someone else down below you has to suffer. Hell, I think right now old people are living in kind of a utopian future. Where my generation will have to support their generation. And, you know, it wouldn't be so bad if, in, if there wasn't so many baby boomers to take care of. And I know we're supposed to take care of our elders. It's out of respect. But the problem is... There's too many damn of them. Okay, there's too many of them. If it was just like... Maybe... One third of the population is old people, and another third was young. Another th and when I say young, like, young adults. Someone like me. And then... You got... And when I say young adults, I'm going from, like, age of 20 to... 50. Say that. And don't pat yourself on the back if you're an old person. I hate to say this. 40 to 50 is still middle aged. And, and trust me, it's to be middle, better to be middle aged than to be young right now. Especially in the society we were living in. And then, one third of the pop. Well, I guess actually we're getting to the point where it's not even one third now, is it? But okay, yeah. One third being children, you know, from the ages of. Zero, zero years old to maybe uh, young adulthood. I mean, like 18 or something. That's it. That's all we should be. It should be a reasonable population. There should be kids running around. Because I like kids. Believe it or not, I like children. Yes, it's difficult to raise them. However, I like seeing a kid now and then. Because I like old people, but, you know, the pinching of the cheeks gets a little old, okay? No one likes that after a while. And then, we need kids to kind of, uh, humor or humiliate their parents a little bit. Only because I think sometimes when people get older, you get this mindset that they do everything. And I think part of it is, one, midlife crisis. Two, man is just stupid. Sorry, but... <laughs> how you look at it, man is stupid. Okay? But, that's it. Anyways, I did enjoy this video, it was awesome, and I like how you brought up all these things about, uh, mankind, and, and into the world, uh, how, uh, the Christian faith is kind of taken over. Even though I'm a Christian, I didn't really take that much offense to it. I like it. It was awesome, way to go. I think I might, might subscribe to your channel. Might. Just letting you know.
Anyways, this is Evelina Mali, Lady of the Realm, signing out. Please, if you could do me a favor, follow me here on YouTube. Press the little subscribe button down the corner. Yeah, it's going to take a while to get used to this sort of thing. And please follow me on my Tumblr, my Twitter, and, and look at my fan fiction. Yeah, I know, fan fiction is kind of lame, but, you know, I, I like writing it. And, and my WordPress blog. And have a great night.